If you like my video, please click on the like button and for more videos, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. What is buffer capacity and what is the condition for the maximum buffer capacity? Buffer capacity beta is defined as the number of moles of acid or base added per liter of the buffer required to cause a unit change in pH. That means it is the amount of or the moles of the acid and base which is added to the buffer solution so that there is only small change in the pH. Buffer capacity beta is given by the ratio of number of moles of acid or base added per liter of the buffer solutions divided by change in pH or I can say dx by dPH. From the Henderson equation, pH is equals to pKa plus log of salt by acid. Let us consider a weak acid containing A moles of 8 A moles per liter to which B moles per liter of base is added. Then the concentration of salt will be the uh, combination will be B moles because it is only formed because of the combination of acid and base while the concentration of acid remaining will be a minus b moles per liter let's substitute these values in equation number 2 we get ph is equal to pka plus log of b by a minus b differentiating this equation with respect to b we get d by db of ph is equal to d by db of pka plus d by db of log of b by a by a minus b as the pka is constant d by db of pka becomes 0 therefore d by db of ph is equal to d by db of log of b upon a minus b which is equal to a minus b divided by b d by db of a minus b by a minus b now let's take the derivative of the bracket terms then it becomes a minus b by b then a bigger bracket a minus b d by db of b minus b d by db of a minus b divided by a minus b square which becomes a minus b divided by b a minus b minus b minus 1 divided by a minus b square and open the bracket a minus b by b is multiplied by a minus b plus b divided by a minus b the whole square so bb gets cancelled and it becomes a minus b by b and a by a minus b the whole square so therefore d by db of ph is equals to a by b a minus b this is equation number three now uh, d ph by db is also reciprocal of beta so we can take uh, we can take reciprocal of all the equation we get db by dph is equals to beta is equal to b a minus b divided by a this is equation number four now let's open the bracket so beta is equals to a b minus b square by a is equals to a b by a minus b square by a is equal to b a a gets cancelled b minus b square by a differentiating this equation with respect to b again we get d beta by db is equals to db by db d by db b square by a for the solution to have maximum buffer capacity change in beta with respect to concentration must be zero that means buffer should not change the pH should not change therefore I can say d beta by db is equal to zero so zero is equal to d b by db minus d by db b square by a so first term becomes one and second term's derivative is 2b by a so I can say 2b by a is equal to 1 and therefore b is equals to a by 2 this is equation number 5 therefore the buffer solution will have maximum buffer capacity when the concentration of the salt is half the concentration of acid and when or when the acid is half neutralized